So today we're in the community of Jalousie, and we basically saw the community from a distance. The colors were quite profound, and it's quite interesting to come here, to walk the streets, and to be able to speak with individuals about what the project is. Where are you from? No, from here, but I used to live in Florida. So let me tell you about my stuff. These guys are all from Harlem in New York. Uh, she's from Brooklyn. It's a great opportunity to have images of Haiti that are different from what we always see on television. Yeah, that's true. You know that's what I mean? Something that's true. Something that's true. Show you the bad parts. That's right. Yeah. C'est moi qui fais les peintures. Ils sont très grands, dans les musées, quoi. Ok, c'est à dire les yeux même fatigués aussi voir des vieilles images d'Haïti, des vieilles bagages, bagages ça va les mêmes même n'importe n'importe où dans tout autre pays yo la pièce est peinturée black même là c'est mon c'est mon noir en parleur c'est à dire la pièce est faite pour on se photo snap de un monde dans le pays là peinturée pour bel tableau pour montrer une image de Haïti par exemple pour parler d'après le pays yo c'est ça mon histoire my reason for coming to Haiti, I wanted to come to terms with what I'd been seeing on television. I wanted to see if that was real. Traveling a lot, I've started to realize that there's a difference between received culture and lived. Haiti is not uh, a place I'd been to before, so landing in Port-au-Prince was quite jarring. Part of it having to do with economic reasons, part of it having to do with the recent earthquake. Haiti is a work in process. But I think Port of Prince represents a real strong shift with regards to the old and the new. Port of Prince is a shattered space, a space that's pulling itself together, a space that's in continuous flux. I've spoken to so many people who define Port of Prince, not only the new Port of Prince post earthquake, but the one that they've known for years as being something that's in constant movement. Ken, they wanted to see something beautiful coming out of Haiti, um, more of a positive response to show and tell the world as opposed to what we see, which is basically um, the earthquake of Port-au-Prince. In the past, I've cast my models by going into the streets and finding complete strangers, stopping them, asking them to look at my paintings and assume portraits from the great paintings throughout history. What I did here in Haiti was to actually stop that process and to contact radio stations. For the first time ever, I'm, I'm actually using the radio to find people. I'm using the radio as a communication device to reach out to all the people of Haiti, asking whether or not they have the talent, the beauty, the presence to become the face of Haiti. I don't know what that looks like. It's borrowing from the language of pageants, but it's bigger than that. It's, it's about experimenting, moving beyond me deciding who's in these paintings, but in some sense, the nation itself being the arbiter of its own truth. Vous sentiez aucun femme dans la femme? Eh bien, message ça c'est pour vous. Artiste peintre américain Candy Wiley, qui est spécialisé dans faire portrait de monde, a rentré en Haïti pour venir bousquer belle femme créole dans le cadre prochain projet LIA. Ou pas besoin de manquer déjà pour participer, et puis inscription est gratis. Là où c'est monde qui est sélectionné pour jouer, ou a gagné plus de 10 000 goûts de cash. Ça a pour quoi jamais. Champion Rokoua pour le joindre avantage Baba toute moustache et c'est image li qui pour le représenter Haïti dans une nouvelle exposition à Tisla. Nous sont j'aime des dîner belle femme pas souffrir pour plus. Not too much time, but maybe 10 minutes with each person, going through art historical images to recreate something completely new. Also, it's important to know that the images that we do today will be respectful images that go to art galleries and to museums and will be appreciated by the public. In the World Stage Project, most of my paintings borrow from really famous European paintings. I find images that relate to Haiti specifically. Haiti was colonized by the Spanish and then the French by using artists such as Velasquez, Goya, Ang, and David. What I'm doing is I'm tying a direct connection between the models in these paintings and their very real and present tense to the colonial past. Pose number 11. All right, pose number 10. Page number seven. Our history is a heavy burden to carry on your shoulders. And as opposed to running away from that burden, I turn that burden into the subject matter of my work. It's really hard to see yourself in this long line of very talented people who came before and to say, how does my story matter here? the anxiety of influence, Beautiful. the anxiety of the individual artist trying to find his way 
within the maze of art historical references, but also trying to make art matter in the 21st century. Who cares about painting? How can painting matter? Why, why should I care about a piece of canvas with a colored paste and a hairy stick rubbed up against it? J'aime quand il quand y a l'espace ouais, comme ça. Oui, très classique, faut être parfait. That's nice. Most of my paintings are made from photography. I start with a photograph, but then I break that photograph down into little pieces. Each color is broken and heightened. Uh, elements of the photograph are diminished and removed. What you end up with is something that requires a team of photographers and graphics people. Ain, of course, understands how to use light well. My name is Ain Koch, and uh, I manage the production of Kehende's paintings. There's a, a really great chemistry here, and I think that in order to really do something like this, you have to like the people that you're around. Uh, he and I have been working together for over 10 years, trying to create light that works in painting. In painting, light is the most important thing because it causes the individual to shine, to glow, to give that sense of radical presence. Ain and I have an understanding with regards to how to position the body and how to best arrive at the same sort of resplendent light that you see in great portraiture. It's not an easy thing, but it gets easier over time. We need to swivel his body a little bit more, right? So you can see the other arm. If it's, so right now it's being obscured. Well, I try to stay out as much as possible out of his way. You know, he, I let him do what he does, which is make people feel comfortable and put them in the poses that he sees fit. I just try to, I'm really a technical person. So when he's setting up something, I'm really just concerned about the technical end of it, how it fits into the painting, how the composition works. Because, you know, photos and paintings are not the same space. So you have to consider things as you're translating those things. And so I just try to keep that in play the whole time so that they come out better. All right, right here is good. Make sure you put it at an angle. Perfect. Something where the shoulders are up here and the head kind of goes back. Nice. That looks cool. That's beautiful. Yeah. Kenny did a really brilliant thing by wanting to run the radio ad. Um, it's completely different than any other world stage project because normally he's in the streets, he's looking. Whereas this, he runs an ad and it's channeling out to thousands of people on the island. Here there's something else going on. This, this, this pageant thing that we've done here is, is um, it's proactive. You know, it's not just uh, recording this and putting, you know, and putting these, 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 these backgrounds into this. There's another element going on here that's, that's about agency. All right, so here we go. The first drawing. Pink. Purple 38. Purple 38. Yesterday. That's today. That's today, number 27. 27. You gotta dig deep. Purple, Yesterday. number 35. Yesterday Pink. again. Number 23. Today. Today, number 35. 35. And this is from Today, Today, number four, number way at the beginning. All right, so that's it. Okay, do you want me to tell you who they are? Yes, sure. please. Suzanne. Suzanne. Okay, she had long braids with a white hair tie, black dress and gold sandals, a flower ring and bracelet on. Allo? Allo, est-ce qu'on peut parler avec Sana Suzanne, s'il vous plaît? Oui, c'est Sana Suzanne. D'accord, nous allons pour annoncer que c'est une qui gagne en Dieu. D'accord. Alors, Suzanne, on va passer dans l'hôtel, dans le Caribe Hotel, dans Juvena, vers 8h. Cet après-midi, même, tu vas passer plein. Aujourd'hui même. Elle a gagné. Ok? Ok, maintenant, je dois venir. We had three winners for every day that we were shooting here, and we had their numbers down, we wrote it down, along with the number that they were wearing. Called them and let them know that they had won the cash prize for that day. The cash prize and all of the winnings have nothing to do with them being chosen for the show. It's simply a new element to add, that sense of chance, that sense of wonder that happens as all of this occurs.
The women will come from the radio, the men will come from the streets. I went to the streets of jealousy and I wanted to find men. I wanted to be able to find young men who lived in that neighborhood and showed me where it was that they felt like I should set up my camera. Guys. Right now there's a lot of guys. Put the word out that we're here and that we need girls here as well. I'm gonna get some girls. You move so this is going to be fast for three quarters. Okay. Okay. Just because of this, the size of this. Right. We'll, we'll check to see if this even works. Okay. So okay. okay. You want to do a test shot or something? Yeah. Can't see it. Yeah. 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 Push him back some more. Yeah, What's missing? Hand. Oh, okay. oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I see this one. Maybe it's you. Alright, so let me shoot him real quick. Okay, just come yeah, up. Relax. Patro, just to relax. Relax, relax. Two, three. Okay. No comes up. Voilà. Take. Everybody step back. Come They're blocking the light. Okay. Blocking the light. Okay. He blocked the lumière. Before. Because everybody got expected to get paid. Okay. Every single person will get paid. Yeah, yeah, Monsieur Fetty Bax. Monsieur, by la bonne, no man. Okay, let's go. It's better to stop now when we feel the momentum moving rather than to wait too late. And it's, you know, there's a level of interest as people seeing that there's money being paid and, and they want to be part of it. Obviously, we can't have all these no, people following. No, they're following. not. They're not. How are we going to communicate that this needs to be respected and that we need to no, stay? No, most of these guys are going to stay down. They're not oh, going okay. on top of with us. All right, good. Good. Because there's no way we're going to be able to stop all these people from coming through. I think we should cut it off. We're cutting it off. It's Finish. too much. It's too much going on. Too much going on. Allons-y. I think anywhere in the world, if you drop a little bit of sugar, you, there, there will be a lot of um, ants coming for that sugar, which is the same logic to if you go to, the, to a third world country anywhere in the world and you start giving out money. Of course, you have a lot of people coming and they want some money. They don't, need, they don't care about what you're doing, why you're giving that money. You know, we couldn't control anything in there. Yeah, the trouble is, it's these cameras. It's it's the if if there were just some way of like being a fly on the wall and getting the project done that way. All the people get money uh, when there's no job. That is something that I've myself been asking that questions to myself because normally if you don't work, you don't have any money. But I mean, I can't. I don't have that answer. I don't know. I don't know. You can cause a lot of ill by doing good. In so far as you're paying people for their time and trying to create a, a story or a picture of this nation that might be able to change the perspective, you're also inviting a lot of trouble if you're going to a street where people can barely survive and you're pulling out cash. No matter how many security guards you have on your side and no matter how many good intentions you have, if you have desperate people and a bag of cash, you're going to have some problems. From Port-au-Prince, we went to Jacmel. The drive from Port-au-Prince, of course, means that you're leaving an urban site and entering the mountains. The clear-cut mountainsides give rise to grand vistas of trees and rolling hills with young children at play, life going on simply. You imagine that this is the way that Haiti might be seen if you don't see Haiti through the eyes of disaster. 
Being from the Caribbean, all of the Caribbean has some, um, they can relate to each other in terms of development because in Jamaica, not everywhere is as developed. Being here in Jack Mill, it's, it's, it shows a different side of AT. I would say this, I never seen this on TV when they're talking about AT. They don't show this side. This is, this is a good side. It's easy to lose track of where you are in Haiti, whether it be Port-au-Prince or Jack Mel, and it's easy to lose track of the humanity of the people around you. Very quickly you realize that these people are indeed just as capable of love and of desire for greatness as all of us. C'est jeune. Oui, jeune poule. Much of what I see in big cities around the world has to do with constant change. Whether you're in the streets of Mumbai or the streets of Beijing, you can check the skyline and see that there's this new growing movement towards bigger, faster, stronger economic growth, social mobility. The question was, does that exist here in Haiti? I don't think necessarily that these paintings will answer any of those questions. I don't think paintings should. What painting does best is in my case, to slow down and to look at the face, to slow down and look at individual personalities and to be able to say, how do they fit within this world that we're, we're walking through, this world that we see? There is no difference between all of the challenges that face this country politically, economically, and socially than the ones that we confront on an everyday basis in the West. They're heightened by virtue of some historical circumstances, but for the grace of God, we were all born on different shores. But by and large, people are trying their best to come to terms with some of the very real challenges that exist here. I would describe the people of AD as resilient, patient, and uh, hardworking. There's lack of support, lack of training, because <clears throat> I never knew that I could have created my own employment until somebody helped me to, to create that thing. Okay, so who's next? Numero huit. Ici, s'il vous plaît. I love these colors. C'est très belle les couleurs. Maintenant, on va suivre les, les peintures anciennes. There's a lot of talent here on the ground talent that deserves to be respected, talent that deserves to be confronted, we, talent we, that deserves to be uh, uh, pushed out into the rest of the world and recognized for what it is, human, not Haitian. This trip is a lot different than what I, what I used to work um, on because that's not gonna be in a newspaper or on a website for two weeks and that, that's it. If it goes to museum, if it goes on other private websites, I think that's going to be that side of eighty is going to stay there for for a longer period. So to me, to me, I think it is like a very win-win situation. Today we're very happy to celebrate the women of Haiti, and now we select our three winners. Twelve. <laughs> Congratulations. Here we are. Thank you. Gato! <laughs> Brava! <laughs> Felicitation. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Oh, you're doing that! <laughs> Congratulations. What do I do? I'm an artist, uh, I make paintings, I make sculpture, I make film, I make photography. I think, I think more than anything it's about thinking. 
It's about finding these concepts. How do you look at people? How have people looked at people? How do you stop for a second and look at someone fresh, clean? Look at the colors in black skin, seeing the blues and the reds and the greens. Looking at blackness outside of blackness, outside of time, outside of slavery. Look at Haiti, outside of economic disaster, outside of all of this. Art is about looking, and that's what I try to do.